aircraft worth? I mean, the type of aircraft you were talking about there. What are you in charge of? Uh, slack handfuls. I think at the time, the Sea Harrier would probably have cost you £30 million. Pounds. Mm -hmm. £30 million, my goodness me. That's a massive responsibility. Um, a Harrier, what an invention. I have had the privilege to see them up close. And um, if anybody does know, a Harrier um, has vertical landing and takeoff, so it can just go straight up in the air like a helicopter and straight down. It doesn't need a runway. Uh, no, it doesn't. It's, it was an extraordinary invention, and the engineering feat was, was fabulous. Like you say, it was designed essentially to beat the laws of physics. It didn't necessarily need the aerodynamic forces to get airborne. It could get airborne vertically. It could land vertically. Uh, I, I think to a certain extent, Eamon, that that lent people to think that it was an air show one-trick pony, which yes. was, of course, uh, utter nonsense. Uh, the Royal Air Force and Royal Navy crews that went down to the Falklands showed exactly how good it was. Didn't as need a landing plane. strips, could land on the decks of, of ships and things like that. And, Isabel, I have to say, the noisiest creation mm. ever. Mm. I have never heard noise like the, the, the engines that have to take it up and take it down again. Yeah, and, and you describe in your book, you know, flying a Harrier being a huge career highlight for you. But the sort of skills that you need, not only to cope with noise like that, but in terms of things like G-force and, and make snapshot decisions. I mean, for anyone who's sort of imagining what it's like, it's sort of like the, being an Olympian athlete within the Air Force, isn't it, to be able to fly one of these? Uh, I, I guess so, as well. I think you need to be a, a decision maker. You, you do actually need to be able to choose courses of action very, very quickly, um, be uh, good at, let's say, judgment, picking which one of those is going to turn out to, to be the best. Speed, the thing that gets me when I watch fighter planes, it's the speed, literally, you go... How, how can you make those decisions in that, in that space of time? I, I think you just uh, train hard and you, and you learn quickly. So uh, where the book starts off with the, with the Sea Harrier, we were able to go at about 540 miles an hour, but in the Super Hornet, the one you mentioned from the upcoming movie, about 600 plus. Right, so that's what we're, that's what we're seeing there.